And uh, do you live up to expectations? Very good, very good. Hi, everyone. Welcome. It's great to have you here. It's been months uh, in the planning, and it's finally good to be rolling. So thank you all for traveling near and far to come. And I hope you're excited for a really fun day. We have some amazing speakers lined up for today, and I hope that you guys are ready to sit and savor all of the incredible new ideas and insights you're going to be hearing from our lineup of speakers. And we wanted to make sure that this event has plenty of time for you to connect with people you don't know. So for those of you who are maybe a little bit shy, your homework is find somebody new every networking break. We all see a lot of the same faces at these events, so find somebody new. Uh, and you know, if you find someone new at every networking break, you get an A. I'm assuming you want that, so uh, go for it. Loretta, I have no doubt you're gonna, you're gonna ace this. <laughs> Without further ado, I think we're ready to kick it off. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to hear from Rick, from Sean, uh, talking about New Worlds Institute. Uh, and Ari's going to come up and give us a survey as well. So this is exciting. Yeah. Get ready, everybody. It's going to be a great day. All righty. <laughs> Austin, Texas, New Worlds Conference. How y'all doing? Yeah. My name is Ari Eisenstadt, and I'm so honored to be with you all coming in from Honolulu uh, at the University of Hawaii. Uh, I've had the opportunity over the last about 10 years to, uh, to lecture at universities like Harvard, Stanford, MIT, Berkeley, Duke, Penn. Uh, and I chose the University of Hawaii uh, for my PhD right now because they have one of the only future studies departments in the world. And as an international advocate at the UN level, I've had the opportunity to, uh, to host workshops on innovation for sustainable development at programs at the UN in New York, in Geneva, in Vienna, climate summits around the world. Uh, and this year, we hosted our first ever UN Association Outer Space Innovation and Advocacy Series where we brought together decision makers at the UN Office of Outer Space Affairs, uh, members of Congress, astronauts, uh, and leaders in the space industry, academia, and, and we created a, a civil society consultation modeled off of the UN Human Rights Council uh, Civil Society Universal, Universal uh, Periodic Review Report, uh, as well as the UN 75 Report. And so I'd love to invite you all uh, to scan, either scan this QR code or check out pollev.com slash UNA. And there we'll be able to talk about your vision for the future of outer space for sustainable development. And tomorrow in our lunch session, we'll be able to go through those results together to collaborate on a report that we can submit to the UN uh, through the United Nations Association uh, and to uh, members of and decision makers in Congress here in the United States uh, to really shape this beautiful vision of the future of outer space policy. So with that, I'd love to invite Sean and Rick to talk more about uh, the New Worlds Institute. Thank you so much. That was great. Thank you, Ari. I have to tell you, I, the universe has been really blessed us recently with all these, these folks showing up, right? Like, this guy just jumped in, right? Because our mics weren't working. I love that. Anyway, Heinlein would be proud. No, kidding. All right, so I've mentioned Earth Light Foundation. Basically, the breakdown of the organization is very simple. The Earth Light Foundation is a 501c3 charitable educational organization under which we operate. By the way, the term came from John Young, who told me at a Space Frontier conference many years ago, uh, we were standing in the lobby, and he pointed out that when the uh, Earth is up and the sun is down, there was an amazing blue-green light that bathed the surface of the moon. So bright, you could actually read a paper by it, but the cameras at such at the time couldn't capture it. Given that my goal, our goal, is to expand life into the universe, and given the fact that that spectrum is absolutely unique in the entire universe, that's where the name came from. 
So the Earthlight Foundation is sort of the upper entity. It's basically a philosophy. It's a core of ideas. Underneath that, as I mentioned, is the New World Institute, which will be a think tank. These gentlemen, Tim and some others, and y'all are invited who want to work with us on this, will be doing, will be doing papers. We'll be do, issuing um, slightly combative press releases, um, getting back to some of the old stuff that some of us used to do to make things happen, um, and just getting people to think. Our goal is to stay 50 meters ahead of the current thinking in terms of frontier thoughts. And then the third is Permission to Dream. You'll hear more about that this evening. Permission to Dream is a project to help fund education and research by underincluded groups. And the goal will be to build an endowment. Uh, when we hit a certain level, we'll switch it over to professional management. It'll become an endowment, and we'll start giving out uh, prizes and awards and research grants uh, in years to come. Now, to help get all of that going, we have to raise funds, because it always comes down to that one, right? And um, that's really what we're going to be starting to focus in on. We'll talk a little a tiny pinch about it tonight at the ball. By the way, y'all are, how many of y'all coming to the ball? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Without costumes? Anybody with, with a costume? Without it? All right, cool. I'll let you come. Tell the, tell the guards not to throw them out. All right, now Sean's going to talk to us about how we're going to raise these funds. Go ahead, Sean. Well, thank you, Rick. Uh, thank you, Ari. And thank you all for, for being here. Um, I'm just going to start by restating the mission. To carry the light of life to places now dark. The seeds of life to places now dead in the eyes, hands, and minds of humanity to places yet unseen, untouched, and unknown. The Earth Out Foundation is a group of people, first and foremost. We are organizing to build new foundations on the high frontier. And by being here today, we have already begun to inform, engage, and earn our place in the new worlds of tomorrow. So what we are asking for you to do is to help us to create this new space settlement community because we need people, we need people for a community. Um, as part of such, just by being here today, again, you are all Earth Lighters. We are going to be launching a new membership program that's gonna allow us to interact with you more directly, keep you engaged, do more than one event during the year. Um, we are also gonna be launching a Web3 membership program, and if you've seen outside, a gentleman named Peter Thorpe has been creating these amazing rocket paintings. Those are gonna be available for purchase today. Uh, if you purchase one of those, you'll also be entered into our VIP founders level of the membership program. That's going to get you access to certain things like discounts at our events, VIP all access in the future, entering into certain things like raffles for flights to space, setting other things up, and again, you just become one of these original founding members that gets to contribute not only to the growth of the foundation, but to the New Worlds Institute itself. So uh, we'll have more information on that later, but again, do please support um, share it with your friends, and if you want to go see Peter Thorpe out there, he'll have more information about that. So thank you all again for being here. Thank you.